All right, yes, it is official. Jennifer and I are married. As of this past Saturday, August 26th, we celebrated our wedding. Thanks to all of you who joined us online to watch the ceremony. We got away for a couple of days, and uh, we'll take a longer vacation coming up in a few months. But uh, thanks again, everybody, for all your kindness, love, and support. It was a fantastic ceremony, and we had a lot of fun that night. Now, as it would be, though, got to get back to her, right? Here we are. Let's go out to the entertainment scene. The HJs, you ever heard of them? They're a local band, and they're excited. they got a busy weekend coming up. They're going to be at First Friday, and they're going to be at the Northern Heat Rib Fest. And we're going to go out and talk to them right now. Let's go out into the entertainment scene. Here's the HJs. The entertainment scene is brought to you by Body Moves. Visit them online at bodymoves.ca. On the entertainment scene this week, you know, the Labor Day weekend is usually the time when I say summer's about to end. I mean, it's officially later in September, but for dads and moms, it's definitely summertime over. But it's also a first Friday, right, which is always fun, downtown Sarnia, Cheeky Monkey, and the Northern Heat Rib Series is returning to Hiawatha. And, of course, along with the food and everything else going on, got to have some entertainment. And we've got one of the bands that's going to be at first Friday – and at the Northern Heat Rib Series, you guys are the HJs. We are. I'm, I'm Harold. That's Justin. That's where the H and the J come from. Yeah. Pretty simple. Uh, and who's this? This is somebody new. This is uh, Chloe Kendall. You can speak. Hi. You can, you can speak. Well, we know who the boss is here. Uh, right? No, no. Uh, so she's Justin's stepsister. She's 16. She's a phenomenal drummer. Like, I can't. I can't express that enough, how good she is. Right, that's uh, awesome. Well, yeah. we've met before. We know each other yeah. before. But yeah. uh, I know uh, you always seem to have these guest drummers. And yeah. now, like I say, you're the newest addition to the HJ. Is that exciting for you? It's got to be. It is so exciting. I always wanted to play in a band. So Yeah, so yeah. What, what is it about the HJs that you like? Um, you know, we all kind of have similar music taste, and I'm also in a band with my awesome stepbrother. So. <laughs> oh yeah, way to go! <laughs> what kind of? Yeah. yeah, right. What's What's your style of music that you like? Uh, do you have any specific? Uh, you know, your influences. Um. Well, my favorite band of all time is the Smashing Pumpkins. Huh, that's I love awesome. them. I love playing like any of their songs on the drums. Um, and I've learned some Jimi Hendrix tunes too. Oh, I'm nice. So. What What about uh, drummers that you you kind of look to? Um, of course, Jimmy Chamberlain. Jimmy Chamberlain from the Smashing Pumpkins is like my favorite drummer of all time. He's awesome. So that's awesome. Yeah. Well, uh, I've heard the guys bragging about you, and a few other people have been talking about you, saying great things as well. But you got a busy weekend coming up, Labor Day weekend, right? Starting with First Friday. Yeah, so we're at Cheeky Monkey from seven till nine on the first Friday, and uh, it's gonna be the three of us, and uh, we're gonna mix in um, some acoustic stuff with uh, the stuff we've been doing plugged in, because uh, primarily when we started this, we just did acoustic gigs. That's how yeah, it started. Right. Uh, then uh, you know we were graciously asked to play um, uh, Rib Fest the the next night, and uh, with us is going to be Andrew Brody and uh, Ryan Smith from Gypsy. Oh, Fest. okay, nice. Yeah, so, so you never know. Uh, you're going to be there as well, of course, too. But yeah. you never know what you're going to get with the H as far as drummers go. That's yeah. kind of uh, become a unique thing about the H Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, and, and I think we're kind of. It was cool, and, and and you know we're still always going to try and get other musicians to play with us because there's a ton in Sarnia that are great, but. Um, it's a little bit different with drummers because, you know, there's so many things you got to add in and for timing and all that. So yeah. I think our plan is really to stick with Chloe after th this, this, this go. And the winner is. <laughs> yeah, it's all been an audition the whole time. Um, no, That's but, fantastic. you know, Ryan, Ryan Smith is super busy and, he, you know, he's expressed to us that he would love to play with us. But, you know, he's got a, a full time band and yeah, they're right. pretty busy. So, uh, yeah, she's going to she's going to be with us. And uh, we got some gigs booked in the fall as well. And those will come out on our Facebook page. And then I think we actually are going to get to our originals that we've been sifting through for the last. Uh -huh, that was kind of my next question, because yeah. you kind of been teasing me about that one. for Yeah, a while. yeah. No, we got Justin and I have gone together numerous times and started working on them. It's just like when a show comes up, it's like, okay, well, we got to prepare for that, right? Yeah. And 
I think both of us are music fans, big ones, and we're very critical of what we do. So we don't, if we're going to write something, we want it to be good. So Awesome. Well, it all takes time, and yeah. it's all coming together. That's fantastic. Yeah. Well, thanks so much thanks once again, us. and congratulations to you, the thanks. official new drummer, and Justin, same to you as well. And once again, you can check them out first Friday down at Cheeky Monkey 7 to 9, and then they will be at the Northern Heat Rib Series, and we're going to keep following up and letting you know what's happening with all that as well. Let's go back to the studio, tell you how you can find Find these guys on Facebook. All right, starting off first Friday, the H days are going to be busy this weekend down at Cheeky Monkey. Get out and enjoy them there, and get out and enjoy all of first Friday. There's so much going on downtown Sarnia, and of course, you can also catch them out at the Northern Heat Rib Series. Once again, coming back to Hiawatha, three days of ribs, food, fun, and of course, Lots of entertainment. We'll be talking about that coming up at the end of the show. Thanks, HJs, and I guess we'll be seeing lots of you this weekend. Well, going out into the community, it's no secret that art is a big part of our community here in Sarnia Lampton, and the Judith and Norman Alex Art Gallery has got some very special exhibits, and they're looking to give away some money. So pay close attention. Let's go out into the community downtown to the Judith and Norman Alex Art Gallery. This community segment is brought to you by AG Event Graphics. Visit their website at askguy.ca. Well, we're out in the community today, and we just thought, what a beautiful day. Why not talk about art outside? Um, but we're going to talk about art inside, but we want to do it. Am I making any sense at all? Well, we're going to talk to Adam Alex here from the Judith and Norman Alex Art Gallery. Thanks for being here. Thank you. You've got uh, a lot of things going on downtown right now. I know there's some renovations happening at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, let's first talk about, you guys like giving money away, apparently. Uh, sure you've given away about $5 million over the course of about 30 years. That is correct. Yeah, we've, uh, we've been fortunate enough through the company that my Uncle Norm, Alex, formed, Steeplejack Services, to be able to give back to the community in a, in a way that's unique and uh, different and exciting. Uh, it's been a it's been a good ride. Yeah, and I'm sure you know. Obviously, you get lots of people to apply because as soon as you say money, of course, everybody wants money. But um, there are some restrictions and some certain things, particular that you guys look for. So uh, sure. capital projects. But can you give some specifics? Absolutely. Yeah. The the core uh, outline that that needs to be present is the the project must be in Lambton County. Uh, Norm was was passionate about how, giving back to his local community, so he he made it clear that he wanted to keep the the work within the the geographic boundaries right. of Lambton County. Secondly, as you mentioned, it has to be capital in nature. We're we're not interested in helping a foundation or agency uh, survive, like in in terms of providing operational funds. Right. We we want to be able to help build things. And secondly, it has to have a, a benefit for the community at large. So the core of it is that. Norm wanted to to be involved and partner with agencies that wanted to make the community better, uh, that brought people together, and those are the kind of projects that we're looking for versus narrowly focused groups that are that maybe the benefit would be just to them only. He want he wanted the the uh, the entire community to benefit from his from his partnerships. Right. And that makes sense. I mean, that's sort of what uh, the gallery's been all about uh, since the day it's been brought sure. downtown. So they want to keep that uh, that part of it and, uh, I guess, part of his legacy Absolutely. Uh, going as well. Well, well, uh, we'll let everybody know how they can get that money, but there's uh, a, or an opportunity to apply for that online. Well, let's talk about what's... Uh, there's renovations going on right now, and I know there's uh, something called a witness exhibition, some Canadian art from World War One. Yeah, it's, uh, it's an exciting... Uh, project. They're, in fact, they, for the majority of the month of August, the, the gallery is closed to the public so that they can update it and, and get it uh, looking the way it should to, to honor the, the work that uh, is going to be presented. But uh, yeah, it'll be an exciting project. Uh, again, it's free to the public, so when, when, the pro when the gallery does become open again, I would encourage everyone to, to get down there and see some world-class art. Yeah, for sure. And, you know, they, they include kind of everybody in all of this uh, in the gallery. I know that you have, like, family days and, and uh, when there's a PA day. Uh, um, that's, that seems to be important to the gallery as well. Absolutely. And it, and it goes back to, to Norm's uh, vision, if you will, that, you know, we, he wanted to bring people together. And, and he was a, uh, a fellow that appreciated art. He himself uh, painted, him, you know, in his spare time and almost as a, a way of reducing stress, if you will. So he, he, he had a, you know, a love affair with art, and he wanted to be able to share that love with, with the community of Sarnia-Lampton. Right. 
Fantastic. Adam Alex, thank you so much for your time. And thanks for, having thanks me. for uh, talking to us about the Judith and Norman Alex Art Gallery and lots of different things going on down there. They're going to get ready to open in September. We'll tell you how you can uh, get the information for that. There's a website where you can go and find out more as well about the grant applications that they're offering as well. All right, get out and enjoy the Judith and Norman Alex Art Gallery. Uh, lots of exhibits going on there. And uh, thank you, Adam, for your time to talk to us about what's happening down there. And, of course, they want to give away some more money. That's always nice, right? So if you've got a capital project that you've uh, been working on or looking to have come to reality, now would be a time to look into it. Go to their website. There it is on your screen. Now, make sure you read the details of what they're looking for. And there are some qualifications as well. So you don't just go on and uh, apply and waste your time, right? So once again, Judith and Norman Alex Art Gallery, fantastic. Go out and enjoy that. Thanks again, Adam. And we'll be paying you a visit to a little more often for sure. All right. Well, Labor Day weekend, you know, summertime is uh, not over till late September, but if you got kids, you know that it's Labor Day weekend, back to school time coming. So one more hoorah, head on out to Hiawatha and celebrate with the Northern Heat Rib Series. And this year they've added a craft beer section. Yeah. So it's craft ribs, uh, blooming onions and of course we're going to have some entertainment out there as well i'll be there all weekend doing some live broadcasting keeping you up to date as to what's going on but if you want to find out more about what's happening at the northern heat rib series go to their website right there and follow us along of course on our facebook page at tvsn world and we're going to have uh, some karaoke out there as well we're going to have another youth talent showcase and lots of local bands and it's going to be a great time so keep up with us once again on our facebook page come on out and enjoy us the weather's looking like it's going to be fantastic and join us for the northern heat rib series coming to hiawatha this labor day weekend wow that's so much going on but that's all the time i got for you this week have a great week and an even better weekend i will see you next time right here on the show bye, -bye.